Hello everyone, welcome to Knit Physics. Uh, today we'll be looking uh, into a concept by which we can solve some questions very quickly. Now look at this question. Uh, we says a body of mass m is placed on the earth's surface. It is then taken from the earth's surface to a height h is equal to 3r. Then the change in gravitational potential energy is. This is a simple question. Just find the potential energy on the surface and the potential energy on h is equal to 3r and then subtract that to find the change in gravitational potential energy but the problem with this kind of method is uh, it will take a little bit more time to solve like you need to find the potential energy twice and then subtract it to get the answer so let's uh, find out how to do that so if i do it in the traditional way suppose this is potential energy this is initial that is on the surface of the earth then the formula is minus gm m by r and potential energy on that is the final one that is at the height h is equal to 3r is minus g m m by uh, 3r so it will be r 3r plus r that is 4r so now change in potential energy is given by uh, final potential energy minus initial potential energy and if we do that, we'll get minus g m m by 4 r and minus and minus will become plus and g m m by r. So just solving this, you'll get minus g m m plus 4 g m m and you will get this as 3 g m m by 4 r now checking the options you see that it is not in the form of capital g and m you have to convert it into small g and m so what we need to do is we know that acceleration due to gravity is g m by r square so we can say g r is equal to g m by capital r you need to remember this formula Okay, so we just replace gm by r this part with gr. So 3m gr by 4. So you can check the answer now. Option C is the correct one. 3 by 4 mgr. But this took a little bit time, like around uh, one minute or so. If you have speed in your calculation, you can solve this within one minute. Okay, but uh, you can solve this uh, question within 5 to 10 seconds only. So why to take one minute when you can solve this question within 5 to 10 seconds? So how to do that? Let's check. Let's, let me rub this part. Now the simple formula in order to solve this within second, uh, like solving this problem within seconds. The formula or the trick formula is change in potential energy is given by mgh divided by 1 plus h by r. Just remember this formula and you are good to go. Del u is equal to mgh divided by 1 plus h by r. Now this h is the height uh, above the surface of the earth. And this is also the same height and this is the radius of the earth. Okay. So let's do this using this formula. MGH, MGH is here 3R given. So put 3R and 1 plus 3R by R. Just cut this and you will be getting 3MGR divided by 4. So it took around 3 to 4 seconds or even 5 seconds maybe. So this is very simple. Just remember this formula. This formula is very handy when it comes to solving or finding the change in potential energy. This formula is very handy. It can also be used to find the velocity with which you are throwing a particle so that it reaches certain height. Don't get confused. I will be giving you example or I will give you I will be giving you a problem in order to explain that. So let's see. Now look at this question. A body attains a height equal to radius of the earth. The velocity of the body with which it was projected and the four options are provided. Now what is the concept behind this? In order to find velocity of a body with which it was projected, uh, we have used the change in potential energy. If you remember when you were solving, 
for escape velocity for finding escape velocity formula then we said that the change in potential energy should be equal to half mv square why because see i'll explain you again this is the surface of the earth the potential energy here everybody knows it is like potential energy here is minus g m m by r now we want to send this object to infinity like to infinity so at infinity we know the potential energy at infinity that is final is zero at infinity so with what velocity we should uh, throw this ball so that it goes to infinity that is escape velocity that it will escape the field so how we found out that was this is the potential energy minus g mm by r now we want to make this potential energy zero if we can make the potential energy zero then the ball will reach to infinity so how can we make this potential energy zero just if we supply plus g m m by r to this energy this will get added and will become zero see minus g mm by r and we we are supplying plus g mm by r if we add this two energy then it will become zero and the potential energy will be zero that means the body will reach infinity so we need to supply this energy and we will be supplying this energy in the form of kinetic energy okay so that uh, it reaches to infinity that is the total potential energy becomes zero so we need to supply that energy and that energy is supplied in the form of kinetic energy okay if this concept is clear and from here if we solve like half mv square is equal to g mm by r this is the supplied energy and if you find out then we got escape velocity is equal to my uh, 2 gm by r this is what we got so this is the concept how we got this see uh, how we equated this is change in potential energy so if we what is the change in potential energy that is final uf minus ui and we equated this with half mv square isn't it see look at this equation and see uf that is zero and minus of uh, initial that is minus g m m by r so minus minus will become plus and g m m by r and then we equated this with half m v square to get this escape velocity formula that is square root of 2 g m by r so this is the velocity with which we should throw so this is the concept now let's rub it off in order to solve this problem so you understood that in order to find the throwing velocity you need to know the change in potential energy and then equate that change in potential energy with half mv square you will get the velocity of throwing so do the same thing now how to solve this in a very small amount of time see i have already showed you how to find the change in potential energy what is the easiest way that is change in potential energy is equal to mgh divided by 1 plus h by r now you do you already got rid of uh, finding the potential energy that is u1 u2 and subtracting it so that step is skipped by just using this formula you you can easily find del u that is change in potential energy from this formula and then just equate this with half mv square and you will get the velocity with which you need to throw the ball so if we just find the formula from here then it will be mgh just mm will get cancelled 2gh divided by 1 plus h by r square root will give you the velocity see within few seconds you will get the answer now see what is the question a body attains a height equal to radius of the earth so just h will become r here so 2 g r divided by 1 plus r by r and square root and it will become square root of g r we know that square root of g r is also g m by r okay from where we got this is this formula g is equal to gm by r square 
this acceleration due to gravity this small g so gr will be gm by r so from this we can check the option that is option a is the correct answer so how long will it take just use this formula of del u and then equate it with half mv square this is the trick with which you should solve this kind of question in order to solve this question within few seconds i hope the concept behind this trick is clear thank you all and if you have any problem then do check the description for the email address that is provided you can send your question there and i'll be happy to help you in order to clear your concept thank you all see you next time in my next video